Hello and welcome! Uh, tonight I'm going to be playing Game of Thrones, the Telltale series, um, episode 5, and this will be continuing from last week. This will be the last of this series for the time being because episode 6 is not currently out and I'm not too sure as to when that will be out. But to replace this next week, I will likely be doing Borderlands, um, Tales from the Borderlands, which is another one of the Telltale series, and there's currently four episodes of that one out. So that should keep me occupied for a couple of weeks, and hopefully in that time, episode six of this will come out, and I will just finish this off. Um, there's also tomorrow's session, which is the Thursday session. I have been playing Life is Strange, and there's a similar situation there, and I will likely be playing Dreamfall Chapters to take in that position, which is another episodic game, and this one's from um, Red Thread Studios. I'll have to remember that one. Um, but the Dreamfall series is a very, very good um good series with regards to the previous games the longest journey and uh the other dreamful one dreamful the longest journey and <laughs> the other one seems to slip my mind one was a point and click and the other one was more of an uh an adventure style game a little bit of rpg elements and they've done a episodic adventure uh based on that series so it should be quite interesting to, to play so we're going to go through and do what I normally do at the beginning and I'm going to recap my previous choices and see where we are at the moment and when I do start the game there's usually a, a, a recap, a video recap as to what's gone on. So um, this is the choices from episode one. Um, I'm kind of just going to skip along faster just to progress on to ooh, press the wrong ta uh, wrong thing. I want the twos and not the ones. Um, episode two, I pretty much stuck with what the majority of people chose. Episode three, I made one choice, which was uh, which made a reasonably big impact on my story and how people treated me post that event um, and the rest of it was pretty much on par with what you know, what others had been before I've, I've been doing as their choices and episode 4 which was last week's episode I made a few choices which were quite different to the majority um, first off I showed mercy to Griff and I had a choice I could have done more to Griff uh, but I showed mercy and I thought if I showed Mercy and I just put him into the dungeon, I can use him as a token to bargain with. Because uh, I went to the White Hills and I went to try and get Ryan back. And we're going to try and... Well, we're going to attempt to use Griff as a bargaining chip against getting Ryan back. And it kind of worked, but something happened when we got back to um, Iron Wrath, which was not too cool at all. <laughs> so... Um, Lord Tarwick. There was an incident where he, Sarah's kind of um, in a bit of a relationship with Lord Tarwick, and he's going to propose, or has proposed, and he asks about Sarah's unknown previous life. And the thing with that is, uh, Sarah told me in confidence that she was a bastard child. Um, she goes by the name of Sarah Flowers, and I kept that a secret from Lord Tarwick. I didn't think it was, you know, it was not a good place to really tell him. You know, if he liked her for who she was, then he should just deal with that. Um, but obviously, these lords do like to have some history as to what someone's family is. Um, on here, I ordered the Glenmore soldiers to come with me to High Point. Now. Personally, I think that was probably a very, very good choice. Um, I kind of made that by mistake. I was meant to have sent, uh, left them at Einraf, but I took them with me to High Point. But I think if I left them there, they probably would have been slaughtered. So I am glad that I took them with me and they stayed alive. Um, but I don't know what, these, what the alternate scenario is. I have not watched any other Let's Plays of this game. 
And finally, I allowed Beshka to kill the Slave Master. There was a big kind of issue with regards to Daenerys and her take on the fact that um, Beska should not um, have killed uh, one of the slave masters and it should be down to uh, the people of Marine to take their own justice. Now the thing is she is a person of Marine and she was a slave so my opinion is she had every right to kill her former master especially after all the shit that she went through beforehand so I am very well justified in my choosing of her killing her former slave master and that's where we left off um, we are trying to seek um, Daenerys approval to take some cell swords across the water to save the foresters we are trying to um, I'm just trying to think with Sarah and uh, she's she's currently got the, the former um, agreement with uh, Tyrion the former king King Joffrey is dead and uh, she's now kind of making her way with King the new King Tommen which is Joffrey's brother and I'm still trying to seek approval because I, I, I want some help. Sarah's trying to get some help for her family over across the waters as well. Um, we have the Castle Black. Uh, Gerard has left Castle Black and he went there with um, Cotter and the other chap's name. <laughs> They've gone to go and seek the North Grove, which is a kind of hidden place and we've encountered some wildlings. Cotter has revealed himself to be a wildling and we are now um, kind of in a weird position where um, we've just met with Cotter's sister and we're not really sure where this is going to go. Apparently she knows the way but we'll see if they betray us. And finally we've got Roderick who had a bad encounter when he got back to Iron Wrath and we will find out why um, so let's go into play begin episode 5 I like to justify my choices just so you are aware <laughs> they just make them blindly Totally. So you should see a recap of everything that's happened so far. And you can see where we are in terms of positioning in the game. And it should cover all scenarios. I'm quite curious as to where we start off as well. Previously on Game of Thrones. You'd help the Second Sons. Guide them into Marine. I can't, Asha. This could be our only chance. Get them into the city, help them liberate Marine, and I will see that you are rewarded. You think you get a reason with a wildling? No, I'm, uh, I'm a friend. So Cotter got her. Don't move. And that's his little sister. This is my sister, Sylvie. They're like wood elves. I have to get in there, Sarah. Lord Whitehill is up to something. He's conspiring against my family, and someone in there is helping him. Andros is hiring cell swords, hundreds of them. What? He's building an army for Lord Whitehill, big enough to march against Ironrath. Now this guy here is addicted to milk Thalia, and the poppy. I may be leaving you here with a traitor, 
Find out who it is. And here we go. Here's the uh, surprise encounter. Rodri! Bastard. I'm told you're a man who can't be broken. I've decided to come see for myself. So there we go. We are back with this vile human. I was just telling your sister. Father's been looking to make a match for me. And Talia's been such good company. Think she likes me? Or maybe your mother? A flower plot is still a flower. Hm. Just dies more quickly. We could be a family, Lord Forrester. You'd like that, wouldn't you? Your mother may need some convincing. You killed our brother! I've killed many brothers. Sisters, too. But let's put our happy day to the side for a moment. Walk with me. Oh. You won't need your sword. Not where we're going. I will... Very well. This could be a bad idea, but I'm leaving the sword. That was easy. There. I mean, I don't... Doesn't that feel better? I don't trust oh. the guy at all. You're coming too. This is Lord's business, not a child's. I say she comes. I don't trust her with my men. Hmm. See, I'm sure Roderick could handle himself in other means. How fares your father, Lord Bolton? Better than yours. <laughs> hmm. Polite of you to ask. I loved playing in the woods when I was your age. Still do. So many places to hide. I've gotten very good at finding people. Oh. Roderick? It's all right, Talia. That reminds me. Who's he found? Where's Griff? I expected to be greeted by him on my arrival. Bit of a disappointment to have to show myself in. And here I had such high hopes for Ludson. Griff and his men are under guard. They have no place here. They do if I say they do. Oh, I really hoped things might be different with you. I hoped we could be friends. After all, I was generous. I've allowed you to keep half your forest. Your livelihood. Yet you went behind my back and called in the Glenmores. I'm not sure how you managed that. The Glenmores have sworn their loyalty to my father. Lady Elena Glenmore is our guest. The soldiers accompanied her to ensure her safety. If her safety is a concern, perhaps she should not have come to Ironra. Well, I'm certainly glad we've sorted this out. Thank you for being so forthcoming. Maybe I didn't want to say that. But there's still a price. Ah. Here we are. Oh, no. Roderick! You disobeyed me. You disrespected me. Someone has to pay! You didn't think it would be you, did you? Your damaged goods. Someone else's leftovers. Arthur's done nothing wrong! If you want to hurt someone, hurt me! No, Roderick! Why bother? You're nearly a corpse already. Hey, Kralis. <laughs> no! Stop! <laughs> Look at what you've done! I hope it was worth it. Is it worth it, Arthur? Please stop! Please! Please! Talia, don't look away. No! It's very important you see what comes of disobedience. Children, make him stop! Please, do something! Talia, don't look. 
Murphy. Look at him, Talia. <laughs> See what your brother's done. Wait, I am protecting please. my family. Lord Ramsey. Sorry, but they'll never learn otherwise. <laughs> mercy, have mercy! Mercy, my lord! Did Roderick show mercy to Griff? This is his fault. That's a lot of blood. <laughs> please stop, Lord Ramsey. <laughs> no. I hate this bastard. All lads fainted. Let's give him a minute. <laughs> you want to kill me, don't you? Of course. Release him. Go on. Prove how strong you are. To be Do fair. It for Ethan. No, Roderick. He's toying with you. Do it. Come on, Roderick. Your little brother had bigger balls than you. I came here to kill you, but now I realize it might be far more entertaining to watch Lud tear you to pieces. Hmm. I never want to come back to this fucking shit stain of a hold fast. I have better things to do than to play wet nurse to you and Lud. So you'll settle this on your own. Last house standing wins. Otherwise, I'll kill you both and be done with it. You're insane. At least I'm not you. Ha. Huh. And one more thing. <laughs> <laughs> Can't leave a job half finished. Oh. Ready the horses. Not sure you'll have much luck finding other allies. <laughs> so that's the first part. <laughs> um, Lord Ramsay is a fucking... Bastard. He is a bastard, but yeah, he is... Some piece of shit. <laughs> Seriously. I hate that guy. Um, in answer to that, Kratos, um, I'm streaming directly from the PS4 and I don't actually have a PS4 cam so I can't really set up the face cam here. If I had the time I would just start fiddling about with the wires and just um, set it up through the Elgato and just uh, PC stream it, but I just wanted to use the simple function and not mess around. so. But I'm not that easily uh, cringed. I was going to use a word beginning with C. Okay, a nest of vipers. Interesting. Now will we see Prince Oberon? Okay. Well, that Ramsey Snow has to... Well, I'd say he has to die, but... Unfortunately, I already know the story when it comes to the next season. And as I had mentioned previously, I am not going to talk about uh, Season 5 of Game of Thrones TV series. Because I think there's a fair few people that have not seen it yet. Partially because it's only been on Sky and it hasn't been made available oh, elsewhere yet. Would do such really. a thing. The Boltons will pay for this. Some people may be waiting for the DVD to come out, which would be next year. Yes, 
Let's lead me to it. Arthur. So sorry. Why, after all we've been through, must the gods continue to shit on this house? What have we ever done to them? Follow the Starks? Obey the rule of law? Ramsay Snow is a bloody savage. He shames the entire North. Yet we're bound by law to obey him. I can't believe it's fucking come to this! The Glenmore Guard are gone. Ordered home by Ramsay. So much for having allies. Ramsay says he's not taking sides anymore. He means he's... to let the strongest house survive. He's already weak in our house. I intend that to be yours, Royland. You'll get no argument from me. For how do we bloody fight them? We just don't have the numbers. Not yet, anyway. We'll worry about that after we get Ryan back. Once we've made the trade, then we can start to Where is he? Where is oh, my brother? My lady. My lady. Let me through! Elena. Roderick, tell me where he... Oh, no. No. Now, who would they want to get revenge it's my on? Fault. I brought him into this. I asked him to help. He did this for me. You can't blame yourself, Lena. He was a grown man. He made his own choices. But he trusted me. He always has. I was there the day he learned to hold a bow. He was so nervous, the father called him Quiver. <laughs> and now, to die. Like this. Tortured. Mutilated. Ramsay Snow did this. He's a madman. Ramsay was here because of you, Roderick. If we hadn't been your allies... Oh. Elena. I'm sorry. Oh, God. Does that mean she's breaking up the alliance? Let's get you someplace warm. How do I do this, Roderick? How do I keep going? Where do I find the strength? Know that we'll have our justice someday. Justice won't bring my brother back. Nope. It won't bring mine back either. You've been such a friend to me, Roderick. Right from the very beginning. I should try to get some sleep. I'm not sure I'll be able to. But I don't know what else to do. You're not alone, Elena. I'm here for you. Whatever you need. Thank you, Roderick. Yay. Okay, not in good circumstances, but still. Okay, where are we going to go off to now? Ah, there you are. I haven't seen you since the coronation feast. How many ships do you suppose it takes to move an army? Ships? Why in the world would you... Never mind. Mira. I'll be honest. I took an enormous risk. Defying Marjorie to get you into that feast. And you thanked me by making a scene with Lord Andros. In front of everybody. Marjorie saw, of course. And she knew exactly how you got there. I'm sorry about that. I, I really did try to be discreet. But you couldn't, could you? Because you're in over your head. I know it. 
and Marjorie knows it. Which is why it's not safe for me to be around you anymore. <gasps> what? Mira, you're not the girl I knew at Highgarden. She'd never be so reckless. And now that Garibald and I are discussing marriage, I just can't risk being associated with you. Not anymore. You know how much I need this marriage. Sarah, you can't mean this. I have too few friends in King's Landing as it is. I'm sorry. I really am. But I just can't anymore. Was it worth it, at least? Sacrificing so much for your family. Nothing's worth losing your friendship over, Sarah. I would have said the same thing once. Trying to repair bonds. It's Queen Marjorie. I'd better go before she sees me. She will be a forester. Yes. Can I help you? You need to come with me. Now. Why would I? Don't make this difficult. Hmm. Typical that Marjorie turns around at that precise moment. Interesting to see where that goes. I'm going to support Beska. I'm glad he's dead. Felt good plunging the knife in at least. But it doesn't feel like I expected. I thought I'd feel lighter or something. No matter what happens, I'll have your back always. And I yours, little brother. But we should never have come here. This city. It only holds pain for me, Yasha. I was hoping to bury it all with Dezor's corpse. I can't imagine what it must have been. Please, I don't want to talk about it again. Asher, you're back. <laughs> Uncle. Let's collect our second sons and get out of here. If you I did think... as you were told, Daenerys should deliver. Daenerys, huh? First names with the Queen now, are we? Grace, my nephew has returned from his mission. It seems you played your part in the taking of Marine, Asher Forrester. Did you run into any trouble? Reports from the battle are muddled. Perhaps you can clear them up. Well, my time is short. No battle is without difficulty, Your Grace. But we fulfilled your orders. All of them? I heard rumors of an incident in the city. Do you know anything about it? Nothing you need worry yourself with, you Grace. That's for me to decide. I thought Ooh. you told me your nephew was a man of honor. But he cannot even take responsibility for his actions. Your Grace. You killed the master de Zorzoraza. When I told you his judgment belonged to the slaves of Marine. She is a and slave of Marine. to me for a reward. Why should I let this pass? Don't you dare. What do you have to say for yourself? Don't. <laughs> I'm waiting. Because Beska was Dizor's slave. For years. Sorry, Beska. She deserved her revenge as much as any slave in Marine. You have my sympathies. Keep your pity, Dragon Queen. Give us soldiers and we'll be gone. I apologize for her, Your Grace. It's all right, Malcolm. I do not hold it against her or you. You have proved yourselves in battle. And while you disobeyed my orders, you had good reason. I didn't really want to betray Beska, but... I cannot spare my second sons. What? But Your Grace, the mission was a success. I need every soldier to hold Marine. What did I tell you? She was never going to help us. 
Your Grace, we risked our lives for you. Which is why I'm not going to let you leave here empty-handed. I cannot give you my cell swords, but I will give you the next best thing. Gold. This gold will be of use. Perhaps you can find the swords you need in Marine. Apologies, Your Grace. But we need fighters now, not gold. Gold can buy many things. A sellsword like you should understand that. A new day is born in Marine. The slaves have thrown off their collars. There are fighters among those who used to be bound. On behalf of the Foresters and the Branfields, I thank you. See that you are ready when I return to Westeros. Yes, Your Grace. I have other plans for you, Malcolm. Plans for me, Your Grace? Plans that will help House Forrester, I hope. I would like you to stay and serve me. I have a task for you. Your Grace, I... I am humbled. But I owe my allegiance to my family. And they will be grateful for the Targaryen alliance you've helped forward. I am honored you would ask me. Might I discuss it with my nephew first? Do so. But let me know your answer soon. Hmm. Here we go. You seriously consider staying in Essos? I'm not sure. This is all rather sudden. If she does come to Westeros, we'd want Daenerys Targaryen on our side. You've made a good start with her. I could strengthen that bond. It's worth thinking about, you have to admit. You're right, Uncle. The Mother of Dragons would make a powerful ally. I think Malcolm's... If she succeeds in taking the Iron Throne, she'll be the only ally we need. But whatever comes of this, we still need men who will fight for us now. The Queen thought we might find them here, among the newly freed. Don't even think about it. You just couldn't keep your fucking mouth shut, could you? Had to tell her everything. You sold me out for a chest of gold. Eska, I'm... S Don't fucking say it! It seemed like the best defense we had. The scum had it coming. Now he's dead. And we still need soldiers. <sighs> the little queen is right. Marine holds plenty of killers. And I know the worst. So what are we waiting for? Let's go get them. I don't know, Asher. They're not like us. To them, killing is a sport. It's fun. Let them have fun with the White Hills, then. As long as they kill them, I don't care. Don't say I didn't warn you. Hmm. I must talk further with the Queen. Don't get yourselves killed. Now, leaving Malcolm... So, where exactly are we going? Now, is... these fighters used to be slaves. If I had to guess, I'd say they'll be trying to live like masters. Yeah, leaving Malcolm is a good thing. One, we've got the alliance with uh, Daenerys, and um, his task was only to bring me back. So, his task will be fulfilled if I go back with an army. So, I think it's still a bit win-win. We're just going to have to find out what our army is. <laughs> you didn't get gold. Finn doesn't trust. You're freezing. Yeah, don't worry about it. Someone has to keep watch. <sighs> oh. It's getting worse, isn't it? We're only about a few days out from the Antler River. We cross a bridge the first men built. And from there, we can try to find the North Grove. Uh, right, Sylvie? We're not going North. We're going South. To join Mance. And the rest of the Free Folk. But look... That was always the plan, Cotter. I have to go to the North Grove. My family's depending on it. <laughs> Your family needs you to wander around in the snow until you get eaten by a direwolf. Please, Sylvie. He knows what he's doing. 
Does he now? Tell me then. How did my brother get that gash in his arm? You dressed his wound up well enough. But why did he get hurt in the first place? What does that have to do with the Hush, Cotter? I'm asking fish face here. <laughs> fish face. Sylvie! Don't Sylvie me. I want to hear it from him. Some wildlings. Uh, free folk. Uh, Mr. Cotter for a crow. Can't imagine why. We tried to reason with them and... Well... Well, things got out of hand. Out of hand? From the look of him, he was nearly killed? Point is, you don't belong out here. Sylvie, I've known Garrett a while now. He may not be one of us, but I trust him. I've been waiting months for you, Cotter. And when you finally come home, it's with some crow who can barely build a fire. No, we don't need to die for him. Me neither. Fucking North Grove isn't even real. And if it is, it's probably full of wolves and more wildies. <laughs> you didn't lose your nerve already, did you? <laughs> Finn, will you come? Just piss off. Some leader you turned out to be. You should listen to him. The further north you go, the more likely you'll never come back. It's just not worth it. Once Cotter's fit to travel, we head south. With or without you, Garrod. Sylvie. You need to rest. And we'll be wanting something to eat. I won't go far. I think we're going to get attacked again. Angry Garrett. This isn't what it looks like. I can explain. Did you know she'd refuse to go north? I swear, I didn't. I thought she could help. Sylvie knows these woods better than I do. If anyone can find the North Grove, it's her. And besides, I couldn't just leave her. I won't do that. Not again. Well, you may have to. I'm not abandoning her. You can go find the North Grove all by yourself for all I care. I should so have said the bottom option. <laughs> I can't head north without a guide. I go where she goes. I'm sorry, Garrett. So I need to persuade her now. Okay, let's see what we got. We can talk to Cotter. Can't do anything with the fire. Garrett. So you really won't take me north? I want to help you, Garrett. I mean it. But I can't leave her behind. And besides, north of here, I'd be as lost as you. How's your arm feeling? Decent, I'd say. Why'd you ask? I changed tone. Oh, you mean this one? <laughs> yeah, it's shit. Why didn't you just tell me the truth? That you came here to find your sister? I wanted to. I didn't think you'd understand. I couldn't risk it. I'm sorry. You and your sister, you, uh... You don't look much alike. The white hair and... I know what you're getting at. So you may as well just say it. I, I just wondered. She was born like that. My mother used to call her Little Moon. The rest of our village thought she was a bad omen. The better of them stayed away from her. The worse? <laughs> Let's just say I'm glad to be rid of them. What happened to your village? Did you leave? Well, not by choice. When Sylvie reached two years, they told my mother we weren't welcome anymore. <laughs> she wasn't welcome. I guess they all hoped she wouldn't survive long enough to get a name. <laughs> but she's tough, Sylvie. No way she wasn't going to make it. Where's, Where's your, your mother, mother now? <laughs> I don't know. Still back at the village, for all I know. She tried to send my sister away. 
wrapped her up in furs and everything like a good mother would. I left that night when I heard. Why were they afraid of your sister? Same reason you southerners call us wildlings. Same reason you put up that wall to keep us out. People are assholes. Yep. So true, Cotter. So true. Okay, so nothing else there. Can't look at anything here. There's Finn. There's Sylvie's hut. She's not inside, is she? Ah, but we can have a look at those things which I didn't get to see properly last time. Spears, the family token. I recognise the bear, but I can't mother remember. Gave her that. I can't remember where the bear was. Little moon. Okay, I don't think there's anything else in here that's worth looking at. Probably, oh, here we go. Oh, this is that stuff Cotter was drinking. Shall I give it a drink? Oh, well, it's not so bad. Don't drink it all. Okay, let's have a chat with Finn. What are you doing over here? There's a perfectly good fire. I'm not going anywhere near those fucking wildlings. Oh, come on. Just give them a chance. I did. And look where it got us. I'm sorry for getting you into this mess. Really. Not your fault. I wanted to come. Just didn't know this is how it turned out. Come on, Finn. You'll freeze your ass off if you stay here. Suppose you're right. Yeah. Might as well get warm before I die. Good man. Bunny! Dead bunny. Whoa! Fucking hell. Could you have been any louder? Sorry. Never met a crow before. Not a dead bunny. Sorry I almost killed you. Might have done you a favor, though. Plenty of things want to kill a crow up north. Apologies if you just heard that noise. Someone's dr decided stems. to start drilling downstairs. Shadow cats and ice spiders. And the white walkers, of course. A spear sounds nice after all that, doesn't it? I'm not a crow anymore. I left that life behind me. Once a crow, always a crow. That's what they say, anyway. To use that, you're not going to shoot me in the leg, are you? I trained at Castle Black. So your shit then. I think you need more training. I didn't realize I had to hold the button in. Let's try again. Oh, ah, oh, you're joking. Maybe next time, Garrett. I wasn't even holding it. Well, since we don't have any food. Oh well, I'll cut that up. Your dinner. It won't fill you up, but it'll make you think you're not hungry for a while. At least I don't have to worry about you trying to shoot me. Ever lost anyone, Garrod? Someone you really cared about? Yes. Someone you thought you couldn't live without seeing ever again? Do you know what that's like? 
I lost my family. First my mother, then my sister and father. So you know how it feels. Cotter and I, we lost everything too. And we nearly lost each other. I didn't think he'd make it back this time. And I won't risk losing him again. Not even for the North Grove. You know something about it, don't you? Only what I've heard. But don't get your hopes up. It's not worth it. Please, Sylvie. I need to know. Hopefully I've got a bit of a trust a with her. A few years back, one of the Ice River clans set out to find it. They'd heard stories. That the cold couldn't touch it. That it's safe, even in the dark of winter. So they'd set out, all full of hope. And none of them ever returned. Maybe they stayed there. Maybe they liked it. <laughs> Free folk never stay anywhere. You'd know that if you Damn were... It! Like the place. <laughs> Back in this Marine. Is definitely the place. So, who are we dealing with exactly? Pit fighters. Two go in, one comes out, day after day. No rules but kill. Anyone who can survive that is capable of anything. They're crazed savages. But one pit fighter is worth any ten cell swords. If you can convince them to fight for you. And that's not going to be easy. Don't expect to charm them or reason with them. If we're very lucky, we'll walk out with our heads. You were a pit fighter. If they're anything like you, we'll be just fine. Understand, they are nothing like me. These aren't soldiers. They're animals you unleash. Bet that place stinks. Right. Okay, so... Must make you feel pretty good, seeing the Masters overthrown. They're not gone. They're just on their knees. And when they get back to their feet, they'll be more dangerous than ever. Targaryens have made their mark already. Bloodstain. You did what? What the fuck? Trust me, you don't want to get involved, Russia. Just pretend it's not happening. <laughs> the servants and guards of this house. They killed them all. Why? Some of these must have been slaves too. Because they felt like it. That's a good enough reason for this lot. Your friends have been busy. Let's hope our heads don't end up here. Yes, let's hope. Don't particularly wish to be part of that. Oh, hm. one last thing. They're not fond of strangers. Or anyone who shows weakness. Or fear. Or really any highborn pricks of lily white arses like you, little brother. What are you leading me into, Beska? No, I warned you. But don't worry, little brother. I'll protect you. Ah. 
Well, if it isn't Beska, the fucking Basilisk. We just want to talk to Amaya. You can. But not this one hiding behind your skirt. You've got to the count of three to turn around and walk away. One. Two. You're scary, fat man. Good thing I'm looking for scary. I need fighters like you. Hear that? This little man wants us to fight his battles for him. We do what Amaya says. You talk to her. Well, good, because that's exactly what. Hey, hey, whoa, 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 whoa. Oh, well, we'll take the fast route. <laughs> I keep questioning what this nest of vipers might be, but I have a feeling this may even be it. Just kind of push my way around, just try and see what I can spot. Hello. Well, hello there. Amaya! Take her! You must want something pretty bad to risk coming in here. So, out with it. Before I decide not to let you leave. My name is Asha Forrester. And I've travelled all the way from Westeros. I'd suggest you go back there. It's not safe here for outsiders. Amaya, please! Please what? I had a friend once, the Basilisk, but she died a long time ago. I earned my freedom! You walked out on me. On all of us. Fighting side by side, we were goddesses of the pits. But when you're born trash, I guess you can't help going back to the gutter. You have a problem with her? Deal with me. So, what is it that you want? Stand brave a little bit. Why shouldn't we rip you to pieces and feed you to a beast? <laughs> I think they will. My patience wears thin. My enemies mean to butcher my family in Westeros. They killed my father. They, they don't gonna care about that, brother. are they? And now I need great warriors to help me avenge their deaths and reclaim my home. You think we sell swords? We don't fight other people's wars. We are pit fighters! Artists who paint in blood! That was yesterday. The fighting pits have been closed. You're all free now! Free to do what you want. Don't you see that? Yes, we are free. Why would we follow another? We don't have masters anymore. Why would we follow anyone ever again? You all excel at combat, but you know nothing until you've tasted the thrill of war. Waves of men crashing together. Blood and steel. Hmm. In Look at the joy of their faces, it's like Christmas. They've seen great warriors for thousands of years. Amaya, trust me. He's got enough gold for all of you. You want to lead pit fighters? You have to earn their respect first. We to don't know who you are until we see you bleed. 
You're gonna have to show them you can fight. All right. Who? How about the belly here? You might wish so. His name is Bloodsong. Ooh. He's vicious, fearless, and fast. And dainty. Oh, I've never seen him before. Take a good look there. He's the man who's going to kill your boy. Eh, I thought worse. And what do they call that? That scary one with the two axes and the skull tattoo back in lease. What was it? Pestilence? Plague? The scourge. Right. The scourge. Anyway, he's dead. Well, suppose I better get this over with. Okay, now to try and survive. So what are you supposed to be? With your little axe? Your pretty blonde beard. I'd sooner bend you over to fuck than fight you. Thanks for noticing the beard. <laughs> well, come on! Let's see how you die! If I die in there. Yeah? You have a dying wish? This ought to be good. Will you at least kill Bloodsong? No. I'll use your queen's gold to get as far away from here as possible. Hey! I need those! You'll fight with the weapons we give you. <laughs> you all see this cockless Westerosi? He's come to order us to battle. Like our masters did. I kill no man because another orders me to. I kill a man because it pleases me. Let me show you how we dance in Marine. That's lovely. You know why I kill a man? So he's dead and I'm alive. Let's get this over with. Choose a weapon and try not to die. Choose Only a one weapon. of you leaves the pit alive. May the best fighter win! The best would be me! Here, use this! Yeah, I'll use that. Okay. Better keep up my guard. And press the right buttons. Are you ready? Westerosi! This is gonna hurt! Yours would be a beautiful death! Isn't that something you'd like to say? Hear that, boy? We cannot let the crowd go wanting! I think I can, actually. Huh. For that, you die slow. That's no weapon worthy of blood song. <laughs> Would it help if I stood still? Maybe. Come on, pretty boy. <laughs> Okay, what do I get now? This. See if you're still smiling after I break your face. Surprised you can lift it. Ah. <laughs> Oops. I pressed square instead of X. I kind of went to Xbox mode, I think. <laughs> See if you're still smiling after I break your face. Surprised you can lift it.
will I use his own weapon against Ready. him? Westerosi, don't hold back. Don't intend to. Look at this terrified boy. He fears his end, as he should. They're going to want me to kill him. Could be a bad move, but I th the idea was kind of to impress and get more of these guys on my side. Beska seems pleased. Your old champion is gone. As are your old masters. You can stay here in Marine with nothing, or you can come with me. I chose you for a reason. a new life you deserve better than this you deserve more than to die for someone else's entertainment fight with me and it won't just be for sport you'll fight for a higher purpose to save innocence and murder the guilty if you've got the balls to follow me we will set sail at dawn and to those too craven to join me to hell with you! Ha! I have no idea what happens if I let him live. I may have had a good ally, but... I may have displeased the pit. I knew them! What are those things? Oh, God. Over here! Over here! Dragon glass. Be killed. Oh, Finn. Finn, stay with me. She's not done. Take off her head. Oh shit. Sylvie. Head, head. Leg. Nope. There's loads of them.
They'd be too slow. That reminds me of um, Soul Reaver. Where's Finn? He was over there. As Finn turned, he is going to turn. Finn. Shit. They're everywhere. We make for the North Grove. We need to stick together. No! Come on, Carter. It's just your arm, not your legs. Now to see what this guy wants. I'm really, really curious as to this scenario. This kind of is one of the most depressing scenarios, to be honest. Your Grace. You're familiar with my brother's chambers, aren't you? Certainly you've been here before. You looked rather confused when you came in, as if you didn't know where you were. No, Your Grace. No? I'm told you know these chambers as well as anyone. You're quite the curiosity, aren't you? You profess to be loyal to the Crown, yet you're not very loyal to Lady Marjorie. Have I displeased you, Your Grace? I've heard things. I understand you've been quite busy. Tell me, do you consider yourself an honest, loyal handmaiden? One can never tell with you northern girls. Assuming an honest person exists in King's Landing. I try to be, Your Grace. Hmm, I see. I've done my best to keep an open mind about people like you. Yet, Lucan tells me you invited yourself to Tommen's coronation party. How exactly did that happen? It can't have been easy. I meant no harm, Your Grace. I had a personal matter to attend to. A personal matter? I'm yes. told you used another girl to talk your way in. You're not above using people to get what you want. Good. Why would you be so reckless as to risk your neck for what? It all seems rather careless. Considering the consequences. I had to speak with Lord Andros, Your Grace. It was urgent. Lord Andros? I don't imagine he'd appreciate being approached by a person of your stature. You've been such a busy little handmaiden. I assume Lady Marjorie... A little bit of honesty. No, Your Grace. This wasn't the first time you've hidden the truth from her. You've no qualms about lying to her, have you? Tell me the truth. Your secret is safe with me. Only when I must, Your Grace. I think we both know it's more often than that. Perhaps I mistook your northern stubbornness for ignorance, but now I see there's more to you. You're a cunning girl, and perhaps you can help me. Hmm. Your Grace? You're quite friendly. With my brother Tyrion. I need you to speak with him before the trial begins. I want to know who he intends to call as a witness on his behalf. Consider oh, it a this favor old to chestnut. the crown, for which we will all be grateful. Uh, I, I guess I could, Your Grace. It won't be easy. Tyrion is devious. You'll have to hide your intentions, otherwise he'll tell you nothing. You may prove to be a useful little bird to me, assuming you do as you're told. In return, I'll take care of your problem with Lord Andros. Thank you, Your Grace. I never liked the man anyway, and I doubt anyone will miss him. I don't like the man either. An interesting little twi uh, twist there. It's um, 
wasn't quite sure I'd be meeting up with Cersei. Think they hired this boat for nothing. No, I don't know. That was a rousing speech you gave, little brother. But who knows how much they heard. After you sold me out to Daenerys, given a lot of thought to staying here, leaving you to your Westeros and your foresters. You have. <sighs> I was angry. But you're my family. No matter what. I'd follow you anywhere, little brother. Just try not to get us killed. Think we'd let you live without us, Westerosi? Hmm. They say your homeland is fat and prosperous. It An is? An orchard ripe for plucking. We'll take what we want and kill anyone who stands in our way. There's no spoils without victory. <laughs> <laughs> Don't worry about that. Victory is all we know. Yes, I have some cell swords. I will reply to you in just a moment Vesco when we're on a break. Malcolm, you're here! And you found your soldiers. Ironrath will be glad of your return. You came through for them. Just as I knew you would. What about you, Uncle? Will you stay with the Queen? If I can, I'd like to help her reclaim the Iron Throne. Imagine what an ally she'd be to House Forrester if she succeeds. Indeed. Living here has made a better man of you, nephew. Thank you, Uncle. I wouldn't be doing this if it wasn't for you. You've guided me well. You are your father's son, Asher. For all your differences, he would be proud. I'll send a raven ahead to Ironrath to let Roderick know you sail for Westeros with the uh, cell swords. My thoughts will be with you in the fight to come. Asher. Iron from ice. Iron from ice. Iron from ice. I know my place. Casting off! Um, I'm doing good, thanks Punisher. And how am I enjoying Game of Thrones? So far so good. I like the story. Take this. It'll help loosen his tongue. But be careful. He's a tricky little bastard. If he figures out who sent you, he'll tell you nothing. I'll be listening to every word you say. I like Game of Thrones, and this ties oh, in very I nice. ask for brawn, they send me a handmaiden. Well, you're here. You might as well come in. Let me get you. Your family is in grave danger, and you've come seeking my help? No. Not that I'd be of much use to you. As you can see, I'm at a bit of a disadvantage. I really must speak with you, Lord Tyrion. Clearly. You're here, aren't you? At least you brought wine. And you didn't even have to hide it. Ew, I'm not sitting in a shitty bed. Hmm. Doesn't smell poisoned. Poisoned? Cersei would love nothing more than to save herself the trouble of a trial. You don't expect me to drink alone, do you? They never let anyone in to see me. And I've grown tired of talking to myself. Well, I suppose I'll have just a little. Ah, true girl of the North. Hmm. Some things are worth dying for. So, why are you here? It's rather unusual for a handmaiden to visit the Black Cells. Willingly. I've been worried about you, Lord Tyrion. Oh, have you? You may be the only person in all of King's Landing who doesn't want to see my head on a spike. I should have. You no. and Podrick. I have to admit, I've and always Bronze. admired your honesty, but I suspect there's more to you than one might imagine. This is all a ruse, isn't it? Sorry? You're coming here. We both know you have an ulterior motive. Nothing gets past Lord Tyrion. You've come to set me free. 
It's the perfect plan. No one would suspect it of you. <laughs> you found me out. How did you know? You can learn a great deal about someone if you're paying attention. So, tell me. Cersei sent you, didn't she? He's listening. I know I'm not wrong. The truth, Mira. Are you toying with me? I might ask you the same question. Now tell me the truth. Admit it. Cersei sent you. I don't know what you're talking about. She did no such thing. The guards have never let anyone in with wine. That was your first mistake. Not that I don't appreciate the gesture. I wish you'd had the courage to tell me the truth. Not Ooh. that I'm above drinking her wine. I told you to be careful. You'll twist your words. Stupid girl. You're acting a fool. Let me handle this. We're not done talking. You heard the girl. Go. Imp. What did my sister expect you would learn? Who will testify on your behalf? She's using you. And will continue to do so. Until you no longer prove useful. I know exactly what I'm doing. Oh, clearly. Which is why you're here. Doing her bidding. And what would Lady Marjorie make of your new friendship with my sister? I doubt she'd be pleased. Assuming she doesn't dismiss you immediately. To be honest, I don't care what Lady Marjorie thinks of me. Hmm. I thought you were smarter than that. Without her protection, you're in a very precarious position. <clears throat> Lady Marjorie always what should I tell Cersei? way too much. You're a clever girl. I'm sure you'll think of something. Although I would suggest you choose your words carefully. Cersei would be far less amused if she catches you in a lie. Please, Lord Tyrion. I beg of you, help me. The only help I can offer is a bit of advice. Hmm. Become a better liar. Enough of this nonsense. I'm a bit of a shit liar. Time. Out! Now! I wish you well, Lady Mira. Be careful who you trust. Yeah, I was kind of thinking I should have told him the truth. I was always conscious, always worried about what the guard was doing. I uh, shouldn't have. Oh, hello. Must you leave? Sorry, didn't mean to wake you. You didn't sleep, did you? Neither did you. We haven't slept much at all these last few weeks. I. I hope you don't have any regrets. About this. About us. I've never felt more certain about anything. I'm glad. I wasn't sure if you... With all that's happened. I see him to be a bit of a Rob Stark. What will we do now? Now that we're... What we are. We'll be married, and no one will be able to keep us apart. Not Griff, not his father, not Ramsay Snow. I was hoping you'd say that. Roderick? <gasps> oh, I'm sorry. I thought you were alone. Good morning, Talia. Well, at least I got some pants Hello, on. Hello, Elena. Oh, I, I didn't realise you two were... I mean, I didn't realise she was... It's all right, Talia. Come in. I really am sorry. It's just, this is urgent, Roderick. And... It's, it's all right. I can go. You two need to speak. I'll see you soon, I hope. Indeed we will. Just take the bed sheet. I don't need it. All right, then. I'm listening. Last night, I couldn't... I was having nightmares, so I... Go on, Talia. 
Who's the traitor? I went back there. To the grove. And someone was there. What do you mean? Look. This is a report. How many fighting men we have? Where Griff and the White Hill garrison are being held? It even talks about Elena. I know. It's everything. I couldn't believe it. If I hadn't seen it with my own eyes... Were you seen, Talia? No. It was dark, but... I saw him. Talia, I need to know who it was. He's like family, Roderick. But it doesn't matter. He's Duncan. a traitor. He endangered our house. You have to deal with him like you would any other man. I'm sure he had his reasons. But no reason is good enough. Dahlia, I'll do the right thing. You know me. I do know you. That's why I need you to promise. Promise me you'll kill him, Roderick. Anyone who would betray us like this deserves to die. I'm asking you as your sister. I give you my word, Talia. The traitor will get what he deserves. Now, tell me. Come with me. He's in the Great Hall. This is the way of the game, to be honest with you. Traitors must be punished. The problem is, if it's Duncan, then what happens when Garrett comes back? If he if he comes back, okay. Go get the guards. Scared me after. So you know. I didn't mean for you to learn this way. But it's done now. What did he offer you? Land? Gold? A lordship? He didn't offer me anything. So you turned your cloak freely then? What I did. I did for your own good. For House Forrester. For your father's legacy. We trusted you, Duncan. My father took you off a pig farm to make you his castellan. I've cared for his family like it's my own. Then why? Because you're reckless, Roderick. Just as Ethan was. Choosing that warmonger, Royland, as his sentinel. Ethan was a boy. But you're not. And you've been endangering this house since the day you got home. Refusing to kiss Lud's ring, even though you knew he'd retaliate. Losing your betrothal to Elena. Not anymore. It doesn't matter how either of you feel. Lord Glenmore will never let you marry her now. Taking Royland to High Point when the day called for diplomacy. And now, getting Arthur killed. Enough, Duncan! You're not a leader. You're a wounded soldier trying to prove he's still a man. I'm actually trying to save this family. Everything I've done, I've done for them. Hate me for it, but it's the bloody truth. And the North Grove, did you tell them about that too? No, they've never even heard the name. I've kept the secrets that mattered. The only thing that matters is that you swore an oath to obey me. And you broke it. I swore to obey your father. He commanded respect. All you command is violence. This house is doomed with you in charge. Oh, and you know it. it. Hurts me to say that. But I wish you'd never crawled off that corpse cart. You're a traitor, Duncan. Nothing you say will change that. I know what I did was right. Duncan, how could you? 
My lord, Griff's gone. Someone helped him escape. Was this your doing? Lud was going to ambush you at the exchange. I did it to save your life. But Ryan, Duncan, I trusted you. Let's just get this over with. What do you want me to do with him, my lord? Execution. Roderick, you promised. Kill me, and I won't be able to help you save Asher. He's in danger, Roderick. <gasps> what do you mean? No, he's not. <sighs> Sorry, my friend. <sighs> But I can't reward you with life while I slay other traitors. It was the right thing. What Duncan said. I just feel we bad for Garrett. Warn Asher. We can't, not if he's at sea. My lord, what do we do? Prepare the horses. We're gonna defend my brother. I should have said prepare for war, actually. Because I know Ash is coming home. Oh, unless something's gonna happen here. You smell that? We're almost there, let's go. Let's have a look. Come on, break it up! Save your lovemaking for below deck. They listen to you. Barely. But what happens if your Lord Brother decides he's the one in charge once we're at Ironrath? Do you expect them to follow his orders? Or will it be you commanding them? They don't know him. A Lord sounds an awful lot like a master. Doesn't matter if Roderick's Lord of our house. These are my soldiers to lead. Huh? You may want to start by telling them your brother's not to be harmed. He hasn't had a chance to win them over like you have. Huh. Point taken. Hmm. That's odd. Port's quiet. No guards. Hardly any ships. Maybe they're all off fighting one of your king's wars. Could be. Or could be we'll have a fight on our hands. I'll let the others know. We'll prepare for right. Good thing I've got some good men with me. Oh, this couldn't be easy, could it? So what now? I'm quite curious as to how many people killed the traitor. Um, so Kralis, you say your traitor Westeros. was different to mine. Ugly and small. Fucking freezing, too. I said you'd be paid. I never said you'd be warm. Asher. Thank the gods you've made it back. I brought you an army, brother. Hope you're ready for a fight. Lord's got something planned. I don't know what yet. He's walking okay. Been stuck on a boat for weeks. Could use a good fight. Survive. It's been a while since I killed any white hills. Ah. Out of my way! Ha! <laughs> it won't go farther! 
Asha, you have to get out of there. Looks like it's up to us. Oh, another victim. Asha. Raise the gate. They've got us outnumbered. Oh shit. Uh, we have to get out of here. Which one? One of us has to stay. <sighs> Decision time. Hmm, who stays behind? My lord, you must hurry. We cannot lose you. You must lead. My lord, you have to get out of there. Sorry. Let me save your life and our house. Iron from ice, brother. Iron from ice. And at least the one that killed Duncan <laughs> is not going to be about. He's got the army. That's the main thing. Is your new lord? Yes, my lord. Roderick, go. Take as many of them as you can with you! And he's got the biggest beef with the White Hills. Second time. Second time I've died. I think I've made a right decision, to be honest with you. Not an easy decision, but I think I've made a right decision. I want to see Asher live, and I think he's in a better position with regards to having an army. So that's the end of chapter 5. That was a pretty tough chapter. I'm, I'm most curious as to where... the uh, scenario is going with regards to uh, King's Landing and and Mira. Uh, I'm quite curious as to where that's going to go because she doesn't seem to be... I'm finding it difficult to kind of keep trust with anybody. So she's very much alone at the moment, and I, I don't think I've really got a bond with anybody in that place. I, I, I failed that last one with Tyrion, and I don't know where it's going to go in the future. Uh, which is also kind of cocked up with regards to Cersei as well. I've now got to try and lie. Um, I didn't try to stab Ramsay. I would have loved to have stabbed him in the throat. Um, but unfortunately he survives here for another day. I thought it was a good idea. He probably would have done something back to me or done something worse. He probably would have done something to uh, Talia or something. Um, fewer people killed Bloodsong. Personally, I thought it was the best way to gain respect for the people above. Did not tell Tyrion that Cersei sent me. I lied. Most people did. Um chose to execute the traitor I had my reasons for doing so and in leaving Roderick behind I think that's kind of served best when Garrod comes back if he does because the person who had to kill him is no longer alive and I think 
Roderick was probably in the best position, having faced Griff Whitehill before, to have a final a final stand against him. So that's kind of my justification. Right, uh, there will be no more Game of Thrones until Chapter 6 or Episode 6 comes out in God knows how many weeks. So next week I will be starting... Tales from the Borderlands, which is another Telltale series, and um, we'll see how that goes. And tomorrow I will be doing Dreamfall Chapters, as we are in a similar position with Life is Strange, which finished on episode 4 last week, and we need to wait for episode 5 to release. So thank you to all who joined me. Uh, if you're watching on YouTube, be sure to hit the like, subscribe, etc. And... I hope you enjoyed and I will see you next time. Take care guys. Bye.